Hi again, everyone. I'm 2 News Chief Meteorologist Brett Anthony. We're inside the studio here with this edition of WeatherWise going over the latest on our severe weather chances for Wednesday into Thursday. First of all, we got to talk about the setup, which many would say this is a classic setup. Of course, we have surface winds out of the south bringing in some rich, moist Gulf air. So you got a southeast wind at the surface. At the same time, you also at the surface have some strong, dry, westerly winds coming in from West Texas and New Mexico. And then off the surface, you have a southwesterly wind that is just screaming across portions of Oklahoma, Kansas, up into Missouri, and that is helping to create some lift. So winds of different direction, that's going to cause some shear. That can get you some large hail. It can also get you some twisting in the atmosphere, and it can get you some tornadoes. So we do have some concerns for that on Wednesday, primarily Wednesday afternoon into Thursday morning. So here's the day three severe risk or Wednesday and you'll notice a large area of Oklahoma in yellow from Grove to Bartlesville to Ponca City, southwestward to Lawton, east over to Ada, up to Henrietta and Muskogee and back to Grove. Then that area in the lighter green is a marginal risk but we'll really concern ourselves with the yellow risk because that's the slight risk of severe weather. Now a little more in depth or detail into this and this is something interesting to look at and maybe you've heard people talk about this. This is the the probabilities of severe weather. So let's pick a point here in say southwest Missouri or one over here in eastern parts of Oklahoma. Okay so anywhere within 25 miles of that point there is a 5% chance for severe weather in that light pink area. Now we'll go to this darker pink shaded area. I'll put an X up over central Missouri, one here south of Tulsa. So this means that anywhere within 25 miles of that X there is a 15% chance of severe weather. And now we see the hatched area. You see that hatched area right there? I'll just outline it for you so you can see what I'm talking about. And that means that there is a significant severe weather threat in those areas. So what does that mean? Well, let's put another X within that hatch. So in that hatch area, within 25 miles of that point, there is at least a 10% or greater chance of significant severe weather. What are we talking about when we say significant severe weather? We're talking about a tornado, maybe a large tornado, maybe some uh, very damaging winds or some very large hail. So uh, you're talking about something that would be a little more extreme than say severe weather of uh, golf ball size or quarter size. This would be larger than that. Or say just a quick spin up of a tornado. You could have one that would stay on the ground a little bit longer. So significant severe weather comes into play on Wednesday. So we just hope that you'll keep coming back here to KTRH.com for updates. Also, I'll be doing updates on Facebook so you can check it out there. And especially during the storm, we'll be updating on Facebook. Thanks for watching this edition of WeatherWise.